travel day. <laughs> I'm standing in the kitchen wearing no shoes because I have no plans to leave the house anytime soon, even though it is travel day, because I have to work today, mom has to work today, Emma has to work today, Anthony is working today. The only person not working today is the person who arrived on American Airlines flight 2186 at 3.41 a.m. So we finally picked Sarah up from the airport this morning. Um, it was delay after delay after delay, and I'm sure she can, could talk about it, and I don't know if she will, but um, she's here, she is napping. <laughs> Anthony and I went to the airport, we picked her up, we brought her back home, and then we all went back to sleep. <laughs> so it's now 8.25 a.m. I have a couple of things that I need to do today other than work. I don't have to work until 10, 30 this morning. It's gonna be a slightly shorter day for me today because it was a longer day yesterday. I have a YouTube video I need to edit that's actually supposed to go live today. I might flip it with something else, put something else up today and put this one up later because I already have the other video ready. And then I need to upload the videos that are gonna go live while we're gone because I have some videos that are upload or um, they're edited and they're ready, but they are not up on YouTube or scheduled or ready to go. So I need to get that ready to go. And then I have some plants that need to be watered. So just, you know, a couple of things, housekeeping items. I'm mostly packed. You know, we've already filmed our pack and prep video. So I closed that video out last night. The only things that like I'm gonna add to my suitcase that weren't in the suitcase the last time you saw it were like my toiletries bag and cosmetics bag. And I did my makeup completely out of my cosmetics bag yesterday and it went really well. So I've got everything in there that I need. And as for my toiletry bag, I added my toothbrush and toothpaste this morning. So it's ready and they're both like sitting in my suitcase, but they're not what I would call packed. I have some space and I'm not mad about it. Maybe I'll take one more sweatshirt because I just have the one. I don't know, I'll think on it. Um, I've got my camera batteries charging. I have my external battery for my phone. It is charged, so it's in my carry-on bag and we have not yet decided what we're gonna do with wine. I think we might, we might just take two and I might just put them in my backpack so that will eliminate the need for the wine bag entirely. I think it'll be fine, but here I am just yapping. My coffee's getting cold and I need to get a move on on some things. So I just wanted to say hello, it's travel day and you guys are gonna get to come along with us on this trip. I'm really excited. I think we're all really excited. That's it for now and we'll chat in a bit. I'm done with work. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, let's see, I'm almost completely packed. I have a couple of things I need to get. I need one more bag because we have decided we are going to take the wine bag and a few bottles of wine. We're gonna take four. We could take up to eight for four people for five days. That's a lot of wine. We're gonna take four. We've got two bottles of like champagne we're gonna take because we can do mimosas. And we've got two bottles of like a sweet white Moscato di Asti that we're gonna take. And they're really easy to drink. I have a hat, actually. It's really very cute. She says that she struggles to put it on. Um, I'm really worried about getting a sunburn on this cruise because it's June. Uh, so, hat it is. And as for the clothes that I'm wearing, I had packed, packed, I had laid out this outfit over here, which is like lounge pants and a uh, sweatshirt. Um, to wear today. I'm not gonna change. I'm just gonna throw that in there These shoes these sneakers I will wear I need socks um, And then I have This I'm gonna take these um, Probably put these in my carry-on I need a water bottle. I'm gonna stick this in the suitcase so Anyway, I'm done with work, and we're gonna get out of here really soon. We're gonna get in the car, we're gonna load up the car as soon as I can get my stuff packed up. We're on the road. I mean, everybody's waiting on me. Emma was done with work at 3.30. Mom was done at work at two. Sarah didn't work today. Anthony was done with work at 4.30. And I just finished work, and it's well after 6.30. It's almost seven, so it's late. But it's fine. I was planning on leaving about seven anyway, so we're not behind schedule. 
and it's fine. It's been a very productive day, very good day. I have a bunch of videos scheduled to go live while I'm gone, so I'm not gonna miss an upload. I'm really proud of my track record right now, so I wanna keep going. Um, I have been pre-filming, so you're gonna see things like later. Um, you're not seeing anything real time, and I'm okay with that. I can live with that, I hope you can live with that, but I need to grab my stuff. I'm gonna stop talking for now, and probably pick you guys up when we're loading up the car, or maybe when we're on the road. I don't know, we'll see, but for now, I've gotta get this ready to go, because I'm so ready to go. Hi! Okay, so we are finally on our way to Fort Lauderdale. First, we're gonna spend the night in a hotel, and then tomorrow we board the ship. And we're just gonna do a quick little introduction of the girls for our girls trip. So of course, you know her, that's Auburn. This Who is her is channel. <laughs> and then the lady with the, um, for the delight yours on is our mother. And then the other girl in the back seat, poke your head out. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> that's Sarah. She's Auburn's uh, best friend from Tipton. I've been around once or twice. Yes, yeah, you've, you've seen, seen her before. before. <laughs> and Jason. <laughs> Jinx, you both owe me sodas. I okay. can't. I'll get uh, you one on the, on the cruise tomorrow. Oh, yeah, don't you oh, worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, and so we're just extremely exciting. Ugh, yeah, I can't, we're I can't all very giddy and uh, Oh, and I'm happy. Emma. Yeah, this is Emma. In case you forgot what I look like. <laughs> so for all intents and purposes, this back here, this is mom. But we have two Sarahs in the back seat right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I know it's gonna be slightly confusing. We have packed a secondary vlog camera. So we are going to have the Sarah cam come back for this cruise vlog series and I'm really excited about it. We'll have probably two different Sarah cams. <laughs> I'm really Who excited. Knows? This is gonna be great. Yeah, we're gonna have a Sarah cam. We're gonna have a mom Sarah cam. So it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited and cannot believe that it's finally here. This is driving oh, me yeah. crazy. It's <laughs> After but, yesterday, this morning, whatever you want to call it. Well, I mean, we've had this trip planned since April of last year. Uh, something like that. So it feels like it has been a very long time coming. So. But then, my multiple delay flight delays. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mentioned that earlier. I think. Would you like to talk a little bit about your adventures, your misadventures <laughs> with American Airlines yesterday? Uh. So. I had like I worked a half day yesterday. Got off work at one, and I flew out of Springfield at my flight left at four thirty. Had no issues there. Flew into Dallas Fort Worth. Uh, everything was fine, except for while I was in the airport in Springfield, I got a notification that my flight was being delayed. In DFW and I was like okay great and it's, it's, originally I was supposed to leave at 7 30 so it would get to Orlando at like 10 45 Orlando time not so bad yeah because I was trying to be you know considerate <laughs> <laughs> uh and then when it got bumped to leaving at 9 30 that put it at 12 45 and then I don't remember at what point I realized I had another notification saying my flight had been delayed again another two hours and was not going to be leaving DFW until 11.30 p.m. So I did not get here until like 3.30 a.m. Right. And had to I think deal with you baggage. texted me yeah. at like 3.30 or 3.40 this morning and said that you just touched down yeah. in Orlando. I'm like, welcome to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, it was an early morning for me. Yes. <laughs> It then there was issues with luggage for some reason and so I felt like I was there for like 30 45 minutes to an hour mm. yeah I 45 minutes to an hour yeah wondered what in the world was taking so long but I think it may have just been that the flight was there so early they may not have had like a, a ground crew getting enough people getting bags yeah yeah because it, it, it did take a while because she texted me at like 3 30 that she was here she had landed and then she we didn't pick her up till five yeah i was close to yeah so um well and then there's the fact that within dfw i visited three of the five i think it's five terminals because the gate kept bouncing around and i was like That's at one fun. point i was like you know what i'm inside I'm past security. 
I'm just gonna stay here until they tell like 30 minutes before. Well, it was a little bit more than that, but closer to. And if they tell me I have to go to a different terminal again, I'm just, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I will give a little bit of grace to American Airlines though because we have had some really big storms in the Orlando area this week and last night, but yeah. it was not storming and they could have landed the plane. So I get why they were afraid of the weather because like if anything could have changed while they were in the air, but. And you can't trust the rainstorms in Florida yeah. this time of year? It's very unpredictable because it is, you know, it's hurricane season now. It's summer in Florida and you know that it rains every day, but you kind of have to plan for that. So our advice is to take the first flight in or out of <laughs> Orlando in the summer months or yeah. when it, yeah. the, before the weather is going to hit because <laughs> the, those late afternoon flights and then everything after kind of gets a little delayed. Or build yourself in a delay day. Yeah. I mean, it was great that you flew in yesterday or yes. this morning, but it's nice that you flew in last night because it gave us the whole day today Yeah, to get you here and then we're all going to travel down to Fort Lauderdale together. So, it was nice. It was very nice. It was just a bit of a kerfuffle to get her down here, but she's here and we are on our way and we're very excited. Okay, there we go. So something else that I did for this cruise is I made uh, friendship bracelets for all of us. So the first one just says magic, I'm trying to get a good angle on it. It just says magic 2024. And then the second one is DCL for Disney Cruise Line. The magic ones have little charms. Mine has an anchor. Auburn's has a sea turtle. Mom's also has an anchor. And then Sarah <laughs> um, has a starfish. That's right. Um, Mom and Auburn also have arrowhead charm bracelets which are red and yellow for chiefs and then they also have football charms which are really cute Can you see her back there? Just barely. Kind of. Okay. Sort of. So it is dark. It is 10.08 p.m. and we just got to 
Fort Lauderdale. We are parked in front of the hotel. Mom is inside trying to get us checked in. She says there's a line. Though. Yeah, I'm looking in the door because we're parked right out front and it, there's a, there is a long line of people. We're supposed to be able to leave the car here for the duration of the cruise because we booked the park and stay rate for the hotel. Um, it was a nice drive down. We didn't get rained on, which was nice. Uh, it, there I were, think I noticed sprinkles every once in a while, maybe. I mean, I didn't notice like big rain. I never had to turn the windshield wipers on, but it was no. nice. Um, I was worried that we were going to get stormed on and it was going to be an uncomfortable drive, you know? Yeah. Because like driving three hours in the dark, in the rain can be exhausting, especially after full day of work. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't have to do that. And we practiced our Disney trivia. So I just had to panic one second. No, we're filming. Okay. I was like, so what if the camera's there, not even there, on? There, there is recording. a recording yeah. thing. I can't see the, that. The oh, I can. Okay. It's just really small. Um, but we practiced our Disney trivia on the way home Disney. or on the way here. Disney trivia <laughs> on the way here. So mom was asking us trivia questions and I think we did pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Some of them were tricky because we've never seen the movies. Yeah. <laughs> but some of them, I thought, you know, we know a lot of our Disney trivia. It was Disney movie trivia, mostly Disney movie trivia. Mom is texting updates. Two employees. I made the line. Seventh, sixth, fifth. One guy just needed change for God knows what. <laughs> I, I love the texted stream of consciousness. This is fun. It's almost like I'm in there with her. You've got so. a link to your brain. <laughs> yeah, texting is cool. So, um, yeah, that's our update. We'll show you the room for the hotel that we're staying at when we get up there. but what, um, Probably a pretty standard hotel room. Yeah, probably. I hope it's a nice one. I mean, we're only spending one night here, but we are going to leave the car here. Um, yeah. And then we'll pick up the car when it's time for us to go home next week. Yay! Yay. Yeah, um, I want to show the room because I know that there's an embassy suites not too far from here that's even closer to the port. Mm -hmm. And I think that one has a shuttle to the cruise port, but it's under construction. Uh, so yeah. I watched a couple of vlogs and people were like, I don't know that I would tell you to, you know, stay here. I booked this one because at the time that we booked it, we weren't entirely sure if we were going to drive or take the Brightline train, which is literally a block away from here. We drove right past it. Um, we ended up driving, obviously, because it's cheaper for us to drive. It's more convenient to, to keep the car and, you know, have it whenever we're ready to go home. You were able to work today also that way. Yeah. You know, the problem with taking the Brightline train is, like, you have a set time to leave. The train is leaving whether you're on it or not. And, you know, I ended up having to stay late at work tonight, which is, you know, fine because oh. uh, my time off is going to be unpaid but there oh. is what's the news all right so somewhere around here is parking i could not i can't understand her okay all right um and there's like parking in here and there's parking somewhere else so that parking on the garage lower is level ours? upper level i think so okay, okay. She said if a gate is down, just push the button and it should let you in. I wasn't it's sure if we got home period. on the 19th or the 20th. She okay. goes, I'll give you till the 21st. Okay. She seemed easy about it. As long as it says on there the dates, then we can come As long as it's longer anytime. and not shorter. Yeah. Right. Camera's dying. See you in a bit. Bye. Yay. We are in our hotel room. We're staying at the Hampton Inn, which is right next to the Brightline station here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, Emma's in bed, mom's brushing her teeth. I'm ready for bed, I'm in my pajamas and I've already brushed my teeth. I have my mouth guard ready to go. <laughs> and I think I told you I was going to do like a miniature room tour. It's a nice room, but the beds and the pillows could <laughs> be improved. I have no idea what just happened back there. Your mom being your mom. She's really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all a little bit sleep deprived, a little bit slap happy because tomorrow is vacation day and you know, I think we're all all really looking forward to this mm. this trip. So mm. these sheets are staying. I noticed that. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of icky. All right. Well, like they were previously, they have been bleached. Yeah, let's so do a room tour. Clean. So we have an extra wide door, which is nice, and Mom is blocking it with her suitcase, so no one's gonna come in. <laughs> and she's in the bathroom. We have sink, toilet. Tub shower combo, which is nice. Sarah's gonna use that until us how it works. And toothbrush. Look how. Did they high. give you that? No, that's mine. 
Look how high up the shower head is on the wall. It's all the way up to the ceiling. And that's not because, like, the shower head is at a little bit above normal height. It's also a low ceiling. It is a lower ceiling. Like, this is this weird. This section here is lower. And yeah, then here I becomes a normal height. It's very strange. Nice. I can reach up and touch it. So we have Mirror. the door, which is like a barn door style, which closes that way, which is nice. And then we have a closet with a safe and an iron. This is a not a very good safe. There's no money in it. <laughs> what were they thinking? Very sad. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here we have two beds, which is nice. And then this whole console thing here, we've got like a desk type thing here with some ottoman stool type things. Shelves, mini, Shelves, fridge, the mini fridge, and then another desk type deal with the phone. There was a chair, TV. we moved it out of the way. Yeah, that's true. There was a chair, but we put it over there because it was in the way. Um, and then uh, we've got lots and lots of places to plug stuff in. It's almost like we're in a hospital. There's two USB ports here and then two like AC outlets, but neither of the AC outlets work. So I plugged in over here. <laughs> we have this like USB docking station. It will charge six USBs at a time. So that's one of our cruise hacks, but it's really handy for hotel rooms too. So as far as hotel rooms go, four adults fitting in here, we've got you know, room. I mean, the thing, the difference between this room and like a cruise state room is they're not planning on you unpacking your suitcase in this room. And in a Disney cruise state room, most yeah, they do plan for you to have drawers it's and space like for your stuff. It's like an apartment. The state, the cruise yeah. state room. You yeah. look like you are. <laughs> She's somebody ready to mentioned, be shrouded. Somebody mentioned that this feels like it's a hospital room. That's what. <laughs> That's what that looks like. All of the cores. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> I'm all plugged in. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Ready for your sleep study? <laughs> so it is 11.05 according to the alarm clock in the room. Is it really already? It, yeah, it's oh, late. Wow. So <laughs> I'm going to put my mouth guard in and go to sleep. Sarah's going to take a shower. But that's it for our travel day. We're here. We made it. We made it to Fort Lauderdale. No problems with traffic at all. It, everybody was driving really fast, but we didn't have issues with like rain or anything, so we made it safe and sound. And tomorrow we get on the ship. So, Whoa. see you all tomorrow in our embarkation day vlog. Bye. Bye.